We have some breaking news from Mississauga tonight. Police are right now giving details about a theft from Pearson International Airport. Let's listen in. Okay. So everybody's ready? Everybody's good? Okay. So um, we appreciate you coming here today. Um, and Inspector Divestein is going to be providing uh, a brief statement. We will be taking some questions afterwards. Um, uh, and I'm going to invite um, Inspector Divestein up to the mic. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate that. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. And uh, welcome to Peel Regional Police Airport Division. Uh, I've just got a few uh, points to uh, brief the, to this afternoon regarding uh, a theft investigation that's ongoing here uh, within our Criminal Investigation Bureau of the Airport Division. What I can tell you is that on Monday, April 17th, 2023, an aircraft arrived here at the airport in the early evening. As per normal procedure, the aircraft was unloaded and cargo was transported from the aircraft to a holding cargo facility. Once this cargo was offloaded at a holding facility, subsequent to its arrival, this high value container was uh, removed by illegal means from the holding facility. This cargo was reported missing to the Peel Regional Police a short time later, an investigation has commenced. What I can say is that the container contained a high value shipment. It did contain gold, but was not exclusive to gold and contained other items of monetary value. The total worth estimated at this time in our investigation for the property is estimated at just over $20 million. This remains an ongoing investigation led by the Peel Regional Police. It is being investigated by the Criminal Investigation Bureau at the Airport Division. Uh, this division and the command of the Airport Division has an absolutely wonderful working relationship with the RCMP. But at this time, this remains a Peel Regional Police investigation. Having said that, our relationship is so good with the RCMP that I have utmost confidence that if they can help us in this investigation, it can be a quick call, and I feel confident that they will help us in this investigation. But at this moment, it is a Peel Regional Police theft investigation. Uh, we are unable to provide specifics to this investigation because we're three days in. And our goal right now is to solve this, this theft. So as you can appreciate, a lot of the intimate details I can't provide because our team is assembled. They are working diligently on this case and we want to solve it. So a lot of the finer details I'm just not able to provide because I want to solve this. So I appreciate everybody coming here today. But what I can say is we feel this to be an isolated incident. Therefore, for the traveling public that are concerned about coming and flying out, that they should have no concern. We do not consider this a public safety matter and that everybody can feel assured that operations are running smoothly and there should be no concern and this is an isolated incident and no concerns for travel safety. Uh, no disruptions at whatsoever to operations here. We have a great relationship with all stakeholders. We will continue this investigation and do our best. Uh, I'm subject to a few questions. Where did the aircraft come from? I won't release that at this time, thank you, just because I want to try and solve this case and the integrity of it. Can you tell us who you believe might be responsible for organized crime with the plants inside the airport? What can you tell us in terms of the it's, we're three days in, so our investigators have got their eyes open to all avenues. So we really don't want to uh, make an error and sort of focus on one particular area. We're kind of keeping a broad outlook on it. So we're looking at all angles on how this item was stolen. So I don't really have a lot of details on how it was stolen to provide or any suspect or in, in any of that to bring it. Forgive me, I think you mentioned this, but was it taken from the plane or from a holding area? Holding cargo facility. And when you say gold and other valuables, I know you I would describe it sort of similar to like a regular sort of aircraft container. What's that? How big would that be? I can't imagine what a regular aircraft container would that be. Uh, I'm going to guess here a little bit, probably a uh, square foot, five, six feet. So they would have had to You're listening to a live news conference at Pearson Airport. Peel police revealing they have a big case on their hands. 
A plane landed on Monday with very expensive cargo, gold and other items worth a value of $20 million. That cargo was moved to a facility where it was then stolen. Police do not know who is responsible. They're not releasing a lot of specifics here, but they believe it was an isolated incident, not a public safety matter, but certainly a big mystery on their hands, and they're looking to solve it. You heard Janice Golding there. We're going to check back with her a little later on as the news conference continues.